today we are gonna uh, look how to create an IK. So um, to start with, you need to be in the rigging window. The rigging window um, will display the skin atelier, the painter, and the rig atelier. If you see other window, then you're not in the good uh, layout. To change layout, simply click on this uh, button down right. Okay. You can also hit tab to switch. Um, so. And this character, I will simply uh, delete my IK since I'm just about to recreate this, so you can see. Um, so, to create your IK, you will need to select two joints of a um, limb containing at least two joints. Better if you have more than two joints, but you can have two joints at least. If you have three joints, like the arm, the forearm, and the wrist, it's okay. If you, if you have only one joint, then it's not a limb, it's just a joint. Also, to create an IK, you only need to define the first and the last joint. You don't have to select the whole limb. Okay. And joints have to be connected from one to another. You can create an IK from the wrist here, and uh, let's say uh, the leg is there. It won't work. Okay. So select the first part, like the arm. Control click on the second part, which is the wrist. You can select them in the order you want. You only need to have these two joints. Then go in bind pose and click on this button in the rig atelier. This will create an IK, and you're done. Please just uh, keep in mind that uh, IK are not limited, of course, to um, arms and uh, hair strands. Of course, if you need to create IKs from something else, you can. It's just um, constrained to a, a hierarchy of joints. So you can add an IK for example, from the pelvis to the head. It's completely possible. If you don't see an IK, you can change its size here in the property window. Also, you can decide to make it uh, smaller if you need. But it's best if you can pick it easily. Once created, you can't move an IK right in the bind pose because in the bind pose you are only um, creating your controllers, which are um, IKs, reverse foots, and uh, the most useful of uh, them, joints. Okay, to display joints, simply hit numpad 4. So, to manipulate your IK, simply go in paint and check, and there, you'll be able to pick one IK and move it. So we can see how it behaves. If your character moves in any direction, like mine does, that's because you didn't fix IKs and reverse foots in place. So let's do this quickly. With this controller selected, I will only right click on the part of my body that I want to keep fixed. Okay, they will turn red, and once red, you can't move them. Okay. So, first of all, if you need to manipulate your IK, you just have to click on an IK target. So, for example, my left arm here and simply move it. I like to use the uh, screen space to do this, but you're free to use any arrow if you want, of course. Once you've moved uh, your IK where you need to have it, if you, if you have a contact, for example, you can right-click on it to turn it red, and then manipulation through the IK will be the same, but through another uh, joint that is a uh, hierarchical uh, parent of this limb will keep the IK in place. You can see that I've done the same for the foot here. 
if at any time I need to turn this back to white, I don't have to uh, go on the target, right click, and then go back to the pelvis. I can do all this stuff from the pelvis. So let's check it out. I can move the pelvis, right click, move it again. So this uh, allows you to use both FK and IK to make your posing, and that's the uh, real uh, point of uh, our IK in Akitsu. Then another cool thing is that uh, the IK target um, offers you to uh, use a pole vector. So by using the uh, left click, you will rotate only um, the let's say the main angle. But if you right click on it. You will move both the limb plus the leaf. And then the really, really, really cool part uh, of it is that if you need to use another kind of angle, like here, so a broken angle, which can be really useful when you are making uh, animations with a few frames and you need to uh, direct the eye of the uh, viewer uh, through motion. Um, you can break your angle and the IK target will resolve this angle. So it's really a, a manipulator that is the process of putting um, the uh, lift joint here and uh, adjusting the wall uh, limb uh, in Akitsu. If you need to reset um, the pose of your arm, simply pick any joint of the arm and hit X or reset. This will uh, reset the arm to uh, the posing it has in reference pose. And um, last point about IK is that uh, since they are listed uh, at the same level of hierarchy inside uh, your character, you can copy past the position of an IK to another IK. So let's say I want to have my arm here, like this. I hit Ctrl C or copy, and then Ctrl V or past. And I can see that my IK are clearly at the same position. Of course, the arm doesn't completely match, and that's just because this arm depends on this um, offset on the torso, and this one is more uh, lean more forward. But globally, you've got the, the most important stuff uh, working quite well. It's useful if you need to uh, place, let's say, a sword. Um, close to another end, like here. And then you can pick both IK and using the, the screen space uh, move, you can change the, the global posing. So that's it for um, the IK. I hope you've learned a few things and um, happy animating and posing with Akitsu. See you. Bye bye.